gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a mixed martial artist holding a professional record. 38 wins, 14 losses, one no contest. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at fighting out of Amsterdam, the Netherlands. He is the former Strike Force heavyweight champion, Alistair the Reem Overeem. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a kung fu fighter, holding a professional record, 21 wins, 10 losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 254 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, he is the Ultimate Fighter Season 10 winner, Roy Big Country Nelson! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Ah, the veteran Herb Dean. Chrissy, Vanessa, Ariani, and Brittany. Big D needs four octagon girls. We were happy to supply them. It's been a great night so far. Now we've got this heavyweight tilt. Here we go. Big country. Roy Nelson in the white trunks. Alistair the ream over ream in the black trunks. Big reach advantage for over ream. Now training in Albuquerque, New Mexico, as Joe mentioned, with Team Jackson. There's that kick that a lot of people hate, that oblique kick to the thigh really attacks the knee. It's a totally legal technique, but a, a lot of people hate it. Yeah. It really can damage the knee. John opponent. Jones uses it most effectively. Oh, he's the best at yeah. it. Yeah. Undoubtedly, mutual respect for the power of each fighter here. Alistair and Roy, but they've been doing this for a long, long time. They know one swing, one kick, one strike could end the fight quickly. And this there's a beautiful, a nice flying knee. Beautiful knee to the body. Testing the body of Roy Nelson, and that was a hard shot. When you look at Alistair Overing, Joe, he might have more ways to finish the fight, where big country, he loves that right there, the overhand right. Well, he definitely has more weapons when it comes to kicks. Yes. And he's a very good grappler himself. He won the European Abu Dhabi Championships. So he's, he's a very high-level Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu submission artist himself. Very good guillotine submitted Vitor Belfort in pride with it. There's a nice leg yeah. kick again. And that will be a big key for him in this fight if he can keep getting that off and stay away from that right hand. Yeah, he went low there. You see some redness on the left side of the body of Roy Nelson from that knee. Well, Big Roy, country, all his wins, Joe, in the UFC have come by knockout. Well, Roy doesn't, I mean, he uses that left hand almost just to measure you. Yeah. It's, it's, it's kind of crazy how good he's been able to be with just one big weapon. There was a decent left yeah. hook there as well. Well, Joe, we've always said that his opponent knows it's coming, but a lot now of times they can't stop it. Again, a beautiful knee to the body by Overeem. Overeem looks very yeah, sharp here very tonight, Mike. Very early. Very sharp. And, and it's again. again. I mean, and there's that oblique types, kick again. He's torturing that green. leg. Good movement by Overeem as well. Oh, one more. Big and country again, coming off that, that battle with Mark Hunt. Back in Tokyo. Overeem also doing a good job of not being there for this. Watch out. Oh! Big swing, uppercut to the body. Overeem covering Big up. Roy. Country just avoids the counter. And the knee. Boy, Overeem Alistair. might have played possum a little bit there. Alistair looks sharp, Mike. I mean, that was decent defense there. He shouldn't have stood there, but he covered up well. And then, oh! Excellent yeah. kick. Solid. Beautiful solid knee connection. to the body as well. Alistair looks sharp. Look at the cap. The left cap, when we get a camera angle that shows it. There you see. Thank you, guys. The left cap, a big country from those lower kicks. It's not just those. It's the thigh that we can't see that's getting battered by those oblique kicks, those stomps, and by that left, that kick to the knee. Or his kick, excuse me, the kick to the thigh. 
Very close in total strikes. 17 for Overeem, make it 18. 14 for Big Country. Alistair's fighting patiently and calmly too, Mike. To the body. Well, we've often seen Here's it again that it. knee. That time, Country kind of caught it midway. You hunt the knockout, oftentimes you end up getting knocked out. And Alistair, you can see the discipline that you talked about here in the first round, Joe. Well, that's Mike Winklejohn. Yep. That's, that's Jackson's camp. That's the strategy that they're employing against this dangerous knockout artist in Roy Nelson. This guy who has this one tool. Keep away from that one tool, and that's what he's been able to do so far. I mean, everybody wants a highlight reel like, you know, Gonzaga, Crow Cop, and Crow Cop. You got to be careful. Overing with an excellent percentage of strikes landed thus far. And again, again to that the body. Knee the body is outstanding. Oh, oh he kicked yeah, beautiful kick to the body. Overeem looks this is probably as relaxed and loose as we've seen him in a while. Big win against Stefan Struve back in December in Phoenix. And it goes low again. Outball when he landed that big kick to the seconds slowed down in the second and third rounds there's another beautiful knee to the body but so does Roy so the question is can can Roy take advantage I mean Alistair at 240 pounds also the lighter he gets he's gonna have more cardio and what you're really referencing is Bigfoot Silva yes the Bigfoot Silva yep. fight in particular there's a beautiful jumping knee to the body leads with the right boom that oh. one goes to the chin and there's another straight knee to the body. Perfect Muay Thai technique. Look at that leg kick. Take a listen, partner. Yeah, let's listen to sound. Oh! Beautiful kick to the body. Like a baseball bat. Because you move back. Don't move back. Step in forward. Right? Use it both across. Hey, he's dropping back in here. Left hook. Simple. Simple. Let's go. That's Let's just go. nasty. Hey. And the worst might remember, be under the, the black trunks. Hey, remember, he's tired now. Hey, you're right. He's tired. Mike over Joe Rogan. Great to be here. American Airlines Center, UFC 185. Pettis versus Dos Anjos. There's a welt on the right side of Big Country from that kick by Overeem. Oh, now that is yeah, nasty. You can see it from this angle now, Joe. Look at that. Oh, and again, getting kicked with one of his own weapons. Now that low kick on the calf, the left calf of Roy Nelson affecting his movement big time. Good right hand by Alistair. Again with that right leg kick and, and gets out of trouble. Good discipline. And again There's that the knee. knee. Resets, uses the knee again. Very nicely done. Just the, the athleticism of Overeem is really being showcased here. Yeah, Roy is not putting a lot of weight on that left leg either, Mike. He's disguising it well, but yep. I think that leg, yeah, yeah. good yeah. check there. Very nice by Roy. He's leaving it out there, too. There will come a time, probably soon, where... Roy Nelson, being the veteran he is, Joe, knows I can only take so many more and he's going to fire back. That was a beautiful setup right there. He showed the overhand right, set up again, and then boom, fired in with the leg kick. He's getting... Oh! oh there it is! He got the right hurt. hand! He got hurt! Absolutely! His mouthpiece came out! Knows. He is stunned! <laughs> Overeem with another knee. Big beautiful kick. kick to the body! Might have caught the forearm as well. Over him with his hands down, Mike. Oh. That was a big right hand. Over him looks to be fine. Left hook. The way he is mixing up his strikes is exactly what we were talking about earlier, Joe. But that punch, I guarantee you, that punch gave Roy some confidence. He knows he can get to him. We're in the second round. Halfway in, basically. There's still plenty of time for Roy to land that bomb if he can survive these. But so far, this has been one of the best performances of Alistair Overeem's UFC career. Oh, they don't, they don't like that in Texas. No, they do not. 
the running man we saw years ago, Renee Quarry. Nonetheless, midway point coming up with this fight. Alistair missed that one. Roy did a good job of getting his leg up. Roy's won a lot of fights, Joe, taking punishment and then throwing that big right hand. But the more that left leg gets damaged, the less power he's going to have in that overhand right. And also, it's going to affect his ability to get away from all these shots. I think we're kind of seeing that already, yeah, aren't we? you certainly yeah. are. And Alistair's also doing a good job. Oh, look at that. Right back up. Alistair's doing a good job of mixing it up. Southpaw, orthodox, knees, punches, kicks. Somewhat He's not like being Mark predictable. Hunt did yeah. He's not being predictable at all. Mark Hunt in Tokyo sent Roy Nelson to the canvas. First time he'd ever been knocked out in the UFC. Second time in his career. Another beautiful knee to the body. Alistair is doing so well. And then another kick to the body. No one has ever worked Roy's body like Alistair has tonight. I mean, it's got to feel good to hit that body, too. Just sinks in there like a nice soft heavy bag. <laughs> Under 90 now. Again with that. Just missed that kick. right hand. Taking out the lead leg. Switches it up again. And back to orthodox. One thing you very rarely see, you very rarely see Roy switch it up. Almost always steps forward orthodox. Which would be which would be an appropriate move here with that lead leg so damaged, Joe. But you're right, he stays at orthodox. But Alistair mixes it up so well. Oh, look at this. Nelson to the body. Go to the body. Very kick. nice. Over him, covered up. Nelson knew that Alistair was protecting himself wisely. Steps back to the center. The right side of the body of Roy Nelson is battered. Oh, Another beautiful that was on knee. the jaw again. Swing and a miss. It's the second time that knee snapped the head of Roy Nelson back. 15. Another big round for Overeem. Be careful, though. Big right hands by Roy. He's lo just looking for that little bit of an opening. And there you see big right hand on the button. Overeem absorbed it. And here you roar. Here's a flying knee. Didn't really land on the head. There's a left hook behind it. Drop your handy punch it because he's taking the cage. You know what I mean? Drop your handy punch it. He's taking the cage. Pressure in the cage. He's going cage pressure. Hey, last one. Who in this hold? Hey, don't see this fight. Who in this hold? Step in. Step in. Don't move back. Yay. He's be careful your hand. Roy landed his most significant strike in that round with that right hand that knocked the mouthpiece out. But still, overall, Alistair is getting off far more shots, following his game plan much better. But he's taking some big, deep breaths. And here we are in the third round. Final round. Very diversified attack for Alistair Overeem. And he's looked excellent in this fight. And a lot of headshots, like always, from Roy Nelson. So a couple questions coming into this round. Will Alistair start to slow down? Can he keep this pace up? There's a nice kick to the body. Can Roy corner him? Can Roy land on him? Alistair hasn't been like pushed and leaned on Joseph. Would you think he will be fine here for the final five minutes? Well, he's he's definitely breathing heavy took some big deep breaths at the beginning of the round yeah. He's definitely pacing himself, 
But Roy's best chance for success is when he gets Alistair pinned up against the cage. Yes. When Alistair's just putting those earmuffs on and try to cover up, Roy's looking for openings, attacking the body, and he has big power. And Overeem, not just with, you know, Mike Winkle, John, and Greg Jackson and that great crew, now also training at altitude in Albuquerque. Caught the knee again, went down right back up. Might have got caught low. Yeah, it looked like he did. Boy, they're tough people here in Dallas. <laughs> they don't they don't like any stalling. <laughs> they don't like anything, anything that takes away from the action. This ain't the rodeo, folks. Relax. Let's see here. Oh yeah. Oh. Ain't no doubt about that. That picked a 260-pound man up in the air. That does not feel good. Okay, now everybody will stop booing. They did. <laughs> oh man. That's tough action. Hey, sold out American Airlines Center. Great to be back here in Dallas. No question that was an inadvertent knee. I mean, wasn't what he was attempting to do, but it's just what happens. The battle continues. Last year when we were here, Johnny Hendricks. Became the welterweight champion. Hendricks and Brown still to come on paper. But I'll tell you what, I think that that was a good thing for Alistair. It gave Alistair a little, a little bit of a break. Yep. Let him catch his breath. And look at him, looking good now. Right hand over the top by Alistair. <laughs> Movement. Oh, try to spinning elbow. Can't just him with that one strike attack, but he's mixing it up. He can't just turn and run like that. I mean, you, you just can't do that with elite fighters. He might be able to get away with it because Roy carries around so much extra weight. But against someone really good, who's light and fast, you're just never going to be able to get away with that move. It shouldn't even be in his arsenal. Right hand over the top by Alistair. Ooh, there's a nice switch to the body. Oh, he hurt him! He hurt again! Him. Watch for the uppercut! Man, he might take him down and look for some ground and pound. A lot of time to work. He might look for it, but you're talking about a guy who Brock Lesnar couldn't take down. <laughs> Al Alistair Overeem has very good takedown defense. He's very physically strong. But another big shot has been fired the way of the man born in England and training Albuquerque, but coming by way of Amsterdam. Just past the midway point. Third and final round. Nelson knows what he wants. And Overeem knows oh! what might be coming. Big kick. Oh, Look he heard him, Mike. For he Overeem. heard him. He heard him with that high kick. And again. again leg strikes. Man, Alistair Overeem kicks. is on fire here. He's looking for the uppercut or the overhand right, it looks like. Decided he was telegraphing it, reset. Constantly switching his stance. That's one thing about Alistair, is that he can fire kicks from any position. Come on, fire. Gave Front kick. Gave him the Dikembe Mutombo there. Yeah, I don't know what that was about, I think. He was trying to say that I didn't poke you in the eye, I believe. There's a right hand over the top, the oblique kick. And Roy, Roy tries kick. it. The same kick. Might have been his first. <laughs> oh, nice kick to the body by Alistair. But as long as Nelson's standing, he's in the fight. But time is running out. He keeps pulling his pants like his, his pants are getting in the way of his movement, Roy does. Which is ridiculous if he hasn't worn those before. Again, a connection for the Ream. Well, this is so far an excellent performance by Alistair Overeem. One of his best in the octagon. Coming off an impressive finish of Stefan Struve. Good defense there, blocks the right hand. 45. And again, that time the flying knee, the left connected. 
He's really utilized the flying knee well. Constantly switching stances. Mixing things up. And Roy with the leg kick. He heard him. Looking for it. Still time. 20 seconds. He's back up. Roy Nelson working against the clock. He heard him, but time's going to run out. 10 seconds. They're going to go the distance. Roy should disengage here and try to land bombs. I, I really don't know why he was trying to take him down with just a few seconds to go. Maybe he wasn't aware of how much time was left. It looked like a left hook that caught Alistair off balance. Let's take a look at it. This is the last punch. This is the punch that dropped him. Here's the, he faked with the right, the left hand, caught him on the chin. That's legit. That is legit. I wouldn't say that that was catching him off balance. That's a knockdown. Dropped him with that left hand. And Alistair was able to get right back up. But, you know, I just wish Roy had landed shots instead of going for the takedown. He definitely had him hurt in the last moments, but look at that. Alistair to the body, Alistair to the legs. I mean, it's one of the finest performances of Overeem's career. Up until that left hook, Roy was essentially ineffective. A few flurries up against the cage where he looked like he might have hurt him, but that one left hook was the big shot for Roy. And we were reminded how tough Roy Nelson is. He goes the distance against a very sharp and precise Alistair Overeem. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 30-27 for the winner. By unanimous decision, Alistair the Reem Overeem. Joe will visit with the winner, Alistair Overeem. All right, I'm here with Alistair Overeem. Alistair, this is one of your best performances inside the octagon. I felt you looked very composed. You moved away from the big shots until the last round when you got caught with that left hook. It was really the only shot where he really caught you. That's correct. You know, Roy is a dangerous opponent. Very dangerous. He's got that knockout power danger in every round. That's why I had to finish this. A little bit more technical. Was there anything surprising about any of the shots that he hit you with? I mean, how, how hard does he hit? He hits very hard, and he hits you out of balance, and then he follows up. Like I said, he's very dangerous, he's very well-rounded, so I had to be on my toes every second of every round. The strategy coming in, was it to utilize a lot of movement, and then when he's coming forward, then plant those knees to the body? It seemed like you were very effective with the knees tonight. Well, he's a guy... That always puts pressure, always brings it. But you never know, maybe he changed his strategy. So I decided to put pressure again, and that's how the fight went. Just got on points. How satisfied are you with this win, and does the knockdown at the end of the third round, does that take something away from you? Definitely not, because I had no eight count, I was not dizzy. It's just a hit. I get hit like this in the gym, not that much, but I get hit sometimes, there's no problem. So. You're very happy with this victory. It's a big victory over a big name in Roy Nelson. Congratulations. And that's two big, big victories in a row for you right now. Listen, I'm not done yet. I'm 34 years old. I'm coming for that belt. Verdum or Kane. I'm coming, bros. Congratulations, sir. And another thing, Joe, when are you going to invite me for your show, damn it? Let's do it, man. We'll do it. Come to L.A. We'll do your podcast. Deal. Alistair Overeem, ladies and gentlemen. A ah, big smile on the face of Alistair Overeem. He should be extremely pleased. A great performance tonight as he earns the victory over big country Roy Nelson.